The Twitter API is kind of really complicated to work with. If you're trying to post an image to Twitter from an errand using the V1, V2 API, and if you're still not able to get this working or facing these type of errors, then this video is exactly for you. Because I'm going to show you the exact method that works right now using your cloud-based errand instance without you needing to spend a single penny on Twitter API. I'll also give you a templated blueprint through which you could literally have it up and running under 30 seconds. So without any further delay, let's get started. So as you can see, this is the workflow that has been set up to you know create tweets and post in twitter all right so, so you can see the first leap we've got this one so let me say first like what you gotta replace so you'd be getting this for completely uh, free and uh, it would just take you know a few seconds of work to just get this working for you so the only thing that you gotta change would be this one and this one set credentials so what this contains is it contains the media which is the link of that image that you'd be uploading and the text which basically is the tweet that you'd be posting along with the image right and once you do that we've got a filter to make sure that the length of the tweet the total character length of the tweet is less than 265 i think it could it could be up to 270 or 80 but i just kept 265 to have like an optimum length and then what we do is we just download that image that we just added over here so in your case inside this part over here you would need to you know connect the source like for example if you're getting your post the image and uh, let's say you're getting the image and the tweet from another source like google sheet or Airtable table or like whichever database source or the place where you get your data from you just gotta map it inside this one just gotta map the link inside this and the text i mean the tweet inside this part over here all right and then you just gotta come to this one the credentials okay let me explain what these two does so this is basically downloads the image that we've just put inside this and then it just converts it into a base 64 format which is a format that could be recognized by the twitter api and and then we just set the credentials so how we could set this credentials is that you just got to go to the twitter's developers portal over here and you could see under projects and apps i've created an app called sanjit tweetbot and then you just got to come to keys and tokens and the first one is api key and secret so we could say regenerate and let me copy the api key go back over here and just paste it over here in place of consumer key paste it and for the consumer secret you just got, got to copy this one which is the api key secret that is basically this one the consumer secret paste and for access token so you could say yes i saved it and for the access token secret you've got over here let me say regenerate so let me copy the access token and put it inside this and the access token secret put it inside this one okay so the only parameters that you got to change would be the consumer key consumer secret access token and access access token secret so it would be one two three four and you could just leave the first one as it is and the last one as it is it would just be empty right and once you do this you're good to go now it is ready to be published basically right so now i put this image over here I'm just, I'm just using this image for testing purpose. So let me see, I've, and I've used this tweet over here, anime plot twist. So let me say run. You could see that I could go back, I could go back to my Twitter, refresh, and you could see, we just made this post, All right? Okay, let it stay, I'll delete it later. So explaining the next part, which is prepare what data one. So we create a unique signature and authenticate the OAuth 1 of Twitter in order for us to upload the media. And once we upload the media, then we again authenticate for the OAuth 2, which will be for the purpose of creating the tweet for the text. So this part is for uploading the image and this part is for uploading the text. I mean, uploading that tweet. So while we're uploading that tweet, we would just reference the ID, the media ID that we just got from here. We'll be getting the media ID string and then just putting it inside this one all right and then we would just get this output so the only thing that you would got need to change it would be you know this one where you would be putting your actual database that has that content or maybe you could use webhook if you're depends upon how you would like to create the scenario and the next one would be to set credentials right so you just gotta change these both only the rest of all is already set up all right so this works perfectly as long as your instance is and is cloud-based and not a self-hosted version all right so let's say you got a self-hosted version so that doesn't mean you could just you cannot run this so if you're having a cloud-based in instance like this account over here here. 
So the solution is already right in front of you. You can just take this and just use this as long as you replace this one and re replace it with your credentials. All right. So if it's a cloud based instance, you just got to follow the method that I'm, I would be saying right now. All right. So what you got to do for that basically is let's say that, you know, what I use is called railway. So this is what I use. So what I'll do is I'll copy this one. Okay. I'll copy and go to this top Twitter NRN, which is under self-hosted railway. So I've already pasted this here, but it wouldn't work because I've changed the credentials over here for the purpose of them. For this video purpose, I've changed the credentials, right? So it wouldn't work. So let me just delete it and replace it with the one that I just copied. So I've just set this up. And when I say test workflow, it would just show me this sort of error says cannot find module crypto line one which is related to this one all right so if it is a cloud-based one you know this would be recognized by default over here you know this wouldn't create problem but when it is a self-hosted it says it cannot recognize so meaning that you gotta assign this variable in the back end of where it is hosted all right so in my case i use railway as you can see over here so it would depend upon upon the nature of hosting where your instance is actually hosted but you know this would give you an idea on how you could set it up yourself so if you're using railway you could just do exactly what i do and it would definitely work and if you're using any other platforms you could just get this idea and just implement this variable setup in your instance in your platform where it is hosted okay in your hosted region so so what we got to do is first you know over here i see that you, i just gotta hit on this one primary and go to variables i gotta say new variable and i just gotta put in this variable as it is exactly so just make sure you put it put it exactly like this all right and then in the value you just gotta put crypto so these both should be exactly the same as what i've entered over here and then you could just say add Close this one and just go to the worker as well and go to the variables and just do the same. Oops, just say new variable, add crypto and put in the same node function, allow built in and say add. All right. And now I could say deploy. So as soon as I say deploy and it get deployed, we should get rid of this error. So I'm, let me run it once again. And you could see this error still exists in our self-hosted version. Now, when I go back, and say deploy and once it is deployed and we try to run this one it should it should create the exact same post over here the second time so now it was done seven minutes ago let us wait for this to get hosted it, it would just take a few minutes like two or three minutes oh it is done all right let me come back so let me say save refresh the page test workflow let me wait for it to get reconnected let me say test workflow and you see now this works so if i were to open this and it shows me this id it means that it has done the posting on the self-hosted one so what you got to do is in your that wherever you hosted you just got to go and add this crypto as the variable over there and it should work all right so so let's say it, but it would also depend upon like the complication of how your hosting has set up all right so please feel free to let me know if you've got any doubts in the comment section i think let me show come to the twitter and refresh and show this and you can see that it it, it just did the second post which was just 46 seconds ago all right so this one was done on the self-hosted and this one was done on the cloud-based so if you're using a self-hosted version and unable to get this, you know, set up this variable part and facing any sort of issues, feel free to get in touch and I'd be happy to help you all. And I'll also try making another video separately on how we could not, you know, depend, you know, depend upon this one. Instead, you know, we could just set up the script in Firebase and create Firebase cloud functions and make an API call to that Firebase to that script that is set up on uh, that is hosted on firebase and it could do the posting for us but you know i thought this could be a much simpler one but as long as it is in in a cloud-based account and if you're using prime you know railway or render it should be easier like how i showed you over here all right yeah so if i happen to make another video on how you could you know not depend upon this one for self-hosted version i'll make sure to link it down in the description but this is a perfect 
best solution if you're using you know a cloud-based instance like you could just get this working right away as long as you've got this one figured out if you're using a cloud-based one not a problem at all and yeah so if it's if it's you're using if you're using railway this is the exact method that i've just shown over here you just exactly use that all right then i thank you so much for taking your time and uh, checking out this so feel free to let me know if you've got any doubts in the comments and see you in the next one thank you so much